Hi guys and welcome to the Siege Bomb mod project. I'm mostly focusing on actually just modding the case obviously with random bits of incredibly sharp metal that I've cut my hands on far too many times. Um, this is not where we're going to end the video, it's just where I remember to start filming these bits. So um, we're going to be, as I said, focusing on actually modding the case. Um, obviously first thing that you're going to see is happening is taking this front panel out and building a couple of brackets to make use with. Uh, and then we're going to talk through some of the changes that I'm making to the design uh, because as you know the uh, from the previous video the design is effectively uh, to strip everything out to make it just a shell and then build a PC into it with some kind of cool stuff in between um, but uh, we're gonna make a few changes so we'll let you know as we go so first things first I've got to cut the front of the case off I actually bought that Dremel for use with this project and it only came with two cutoff wheels so and the fact that I've already burned through one of them just for cutting most of the front of the case off is kind of bad um, but I did also get some rather nice footage with my Panasonic GH5 on its 180 FPS mode, so I'm gonna I'm leave you with that. Once it was all cut off though, I used my tin snips to finish off the last few bits to take the front panel out and then otherwise uh, just kind of clean up some of the edges. Uh, I also uh, went ahead and cut off some of the extra bits from the front panel to make some more usable brackets which is also quite nice. And then I went about trying to work out what I wanted to do with the back, um, which we'll talk about more in a second, but long story short, not too much. Otherwise, of course, these were a lot of sharp edges, so I had to file literally everything down, which took a lot of time and hurt a lot, thanks to, you know, the whole arthritis thing. Um, so that was great, and uh, yeah, just filing everything down was basically it. Otherwise, uh, obviously, we still need to, to prep it and get everything ready, but let's have a bit of an update back at the desk. A few quick mentions of what's kind of changing in the plans for this. The original plan, as I said, was to strip literally everything out, including the top, and make it a very kind of frame like thing and then we'll add to it. I'm actually modifying that idea slightly as I'm going to leave the top as it is uh, or mostly as it is, probably cut a few of the little tabs that are here but um, this is going to be very useful for supporting the fire extinguishers and our fire extinguisher and the water cooling reservoir that's going to go up here. Um, so I'm actually going to leave that as is. Um, this is actually probably the majority of the work that will go into fully modifying the case. I also want to leave the back mostly as it is although I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go with cutting some of these bits out yet but essentially we're going to leave the case roughly as it would normally be and it will be a sort of front facing mod if you like and with then a fully functional PC in the back. We're also potentially not going to water cool the graphics card because I really like using uh, this rather cheap 300 watt power supply um, because of the, the cabling um, obviously it looks fairly sort of I know uh, what you would make a bomb out of already, so uh, that's quite cool, but um, it's the only uh, spare power supply that I have, and it's the only one that's anywhere near, like, looks like this, um, but also is only 300 watts and only has a single 6-pin PCIe power connector, so uh, I think we're going to have to use a uh, something like an RX 460 or something, um, but it's not about the actual PC itself, it's about, you know, the actual case and modding and all that sort of stuff, so... Yeah, um, I think the next steps are going to be to continue filing down the front uh, and also some sort of straightening up of some of the uh, slightly bent out bits um, trying to fix up these uh, so that they're approachable, uh, approachable to actually mount stuff uh, and then uh, sanding everything and painting it.
So I actually did a number of different coats of the yellow on the case to get a good consistent finish, no runs or anything, but still easily kind of scuffable and all that jazz. I also ended up modifying the hard drive case to our cage to make it a little bit more open down the bottom and then filing and painting it. I also painted the motherboard tray both yellow and then a green layer on top and I added some chrome accents to make it look a little bit more weathered. I will be doing some more weathering in a bit too, but either way, I also started on the chicken wire for the bottom half of the, the sort of bomb if you like. This was actually quite difficult and I'm gonna have to spend some more time actually sorting that out, getting it a bit thinner, a bit more uh, kind of usable, but there you go. So I, uh, I painted the thing. Uh, I also did the uh, chicken wire as well. Um, this is not the final, like this is how it's gonna look. I'm just gonna go do the work on it now. Um, I'm gonna be doing a few more bits and pieces to just refine it, add some weathering, add some, uh, just kind of make it a little bit better aesthetically. Um, in terms of the chicken wire, I had to fold it over a number of times as you've seen, so it's, uh, it's quite puffy. Um, I wanna make it a little bit thinner so that it's more like just a very dense single sheet as opposed to very clearly locked of sheets. I'm mostly just going to be doing this with zip ties and trying to bend it in. I'm also going to be attaching it to the frame with zip ties as well, uh, mostly because the whole aesthetic of the, the bomb in Siege is fairly rushed. It's fairly kind of, oh, we've got this crate, right, let's drop that in, let's put this on top and, you know, gaff tape it all together. Um, so that's kind of the aesthetic I'm going for here. Uh, in terms of the hanging bits at the front, or at the top rather, I don't know if I've, I've specifically mentioned these. Um, so these are, this one is going to be for a fire extinguisher that will be held up the top. Um, that will be either sanded and or painted. Um, and that's to, to have the sort of gas canister look that's coming at the top and then um, this one will actually be for the water cooling reservoir uh, and pump that will be mounted up here with then all the tubing for the, the CPU and then down to the radiator and stuff like that. Um, that will be up here, they'll both be sticking out at the top of the case again for the sort of gas canister aesthetic. Um, obviously this is not uh, entirely faithful to the Rainbow Six Siege bomb itself, obviously that is slightly different proportion to the case, it's also um, a bit big cylindrical uh, sort of well cylinder down the bottom with then the gas canisters on top so um, it's not the the perfect match but hopefully it will somewhat resemble it when I'm done um, which is kind of the aim here I would also mention that because of the alterations and especially because I'm actually leaving the back basically as it is bar painting um, that means that I will be uh, move, uh, just putting the graphics card in the standard slot on the motherboard rather than using the PCIe extension so um, appreciate uh, Silverstone setting over and I will be making use of it in a future project when I can but um, just because of constraints with this case the design the aesthetic and all that sort of stuff I'm just gonna go with the stock uh, setup for that for now but other than a couple of alterations and a few sort of finishing touches that is essentially it for this video if you're interested in seeing me water cool the PC that is going into this and doing all of that sort of stuff then make sure you are subscribed with notifications on for that video it should be out in the next week or two depending on the scheduling we've obviously got the RTX cards uh, in the time being as well as Z390 so we're very exciting in terms of tech but otherwise just as I said make sure you're subscribed for that um, thank you to everyone who is a patron by the way you guys are awesome and it genuinely helps with stuff like this where um, I'm you know this isn't a sponsor project this is I had a case and I needed some tools and some materials and some paints and I went and spent some money to do it so hopefully uh, a it's worth it in terms of content and b it's worth it in terms of being a patron so um, thank you to you guys if you want to be a patron you can check out the link in the description down below as well. You can also check out the rest of the links. You don't have to, you know, directly support me monetarily. There are plenty of other ways, especially with Amazon Overclock which you can't affiliate links. Also, if you want a great VPN, there's Private Internet Access, which is a, a VPN I used myself. Highly recommend it. Affiliate link down below, and a load of other stuff there too. If you want to see the first sort of intro and kind of explanation of what I'm doing for this, I'll leave that over there as well as another video. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next video.